Dear students, this is Dr. Ida Joycey, Assistant Professor, St. Joseph's College of Arts and Science, Kadalu. I am happy to meet you all in this video class. In today's video class, we are going to discuss a poem, The Things That Haven't Been Done Before, written by Edward Albert Guest. To give you an introduction to the writer, Edgar Albert Guest was born in England, is an English poet. He worked for more than 60 years at the Detroit Free Press. He published his first poem at the age of 17. To his credit, he has accomplished writing 11,000 poems. He was known as the People's Poet and remained the Poet Laureate of Michigan. He hosted TV and radio shows as well and has published over 20 books. This particular poem, The Things That Haven't Been Done Before, is a rallying cry from the poet for individuals to embrace their inner adventures and push aside the boundaries of what is known. It is to set a new trend, to mark a beginning, to take the road not taken, to explore the unknown and to contribute something towards what is called to be the human progress. So this poem, uh, it is uh, referring to Christopher Columbus. By making a reference to Christopher Columbus, he is advising us or he is imploring the readers to take a different path, to take the road not taken, the road that is less traveled by so that we might conquer greater things and mark new horizons. The first stanza reads like this. The things that haven't been done before, those are the things to try. Columbus dreamed of an unknown shore at the rim of the far-flung sky. And his heart was bold and his faith was strong as he ventured in dangers new and he paid no heed to the jeering throng or the fears of the doubting crew. This stanza sets the tone of the poem by making a reference to Christopher Columbus. The poet asks the readers to gain courage and explore new things. He quotes the tiring effort of Columbus when he discovered an unknown island, which is America. He wants the readers to take on journeys with a brave heart like Columbus. So this, in the first stanza, he is urging the readers. He, he uses a persuasive tone, making us understand that having faith in oneself with a strong faith, a steady mind and an emboldened heart, one can conquer a new world like Christopher Columbus, who brought into existence the new world that is America. So the hidden treasure was discovered. It was unraveled by the steady effort, the strong-willed persistence of Christopher Columbus. So when we have such a strong mind and a steady willpower, the journey will be complete, though we are swayed by the obstacles of life. Let us go on to the second stanza. The many will follow the beaten track with guidepost on the way. They live and have lived for ages back with a chart for every day. Someone has told them it's safe to go on the road he has traveled over. And all that they ever strive to know are the things that were known before. So this second stanza, it talks about familiarity or taking the routine path, beating about the same bush, grinding the same flower. The poet says that people, when they travel, they, to, they prefer to choose roads that are already traveled because they can find the way with guideposts and road maps. Since they have assurance of safety, they prefer to travel only through such familiar roads. So here, road is used in the meta metaphorical sense. So you, you, when you are trying to do the same thing, repeat the same kind of a routine, 
follow the same life pattern you can never make a difference in life so he says the majority of people are those who dare to take the path which has been explored and traveled by people and these people can never gain any unique experiences in their life so the second stanza speaks about people who always prefer to travel by familiar roads and the routine life pattern to be repeated instead of being innovative inventive individual and unique and these people can never enjoy the benefit of a unique experience let us go on to the third stanza the third stanza speaks about a few the second stanza speaks about people the majority of the people who always prefer to travel by the same road in the third stanza we are going to see about a few a select a handful of people who wish to make a difference in their life a few strike out without map or chart where never a man has been from the beaten path they draw a pot to see what no man has seen there are deeds they hunger alone to do though battered and bruised and sore they blaze the path for the many who do nothing not done before so the third stanza speaks about men who are adventurous men who are head full who despise who abhor the beaten track who want to set a trend who wanted to create a path through which many others could travel they wanted to be the pathfinders and the pioneers of life the stanza refers to people who take adventurous path without proper guidance so they are ready to risk life those individuals never care about adversity or physical wounds they only concentrate on gaining unique experiences they pave the way for innovation and progress so as i told you it is these select few people who are great inventors scientists explorers people who wish to discover something new those who wish to explore and conquer life these are the select few people which the writer speaks about in the third stanza they by their individual efforts ensure to contribute something towards the betterment of human society which alone can take us towards civilization modernity culture and progress let us move on to the fourth stanza the things that haven't been done before are the task worthwhile today are you one of the flock that follows or are you one that shall lead the way are you one of the timid souls that quail at the jeers of a doubting crew or dare you whether you win or fail strike out for a goal that is new so the writer keeps or he is in fact uh, making us visualize the two opportunities one the road that is traveled by the multitude the chosen path which is the preferable path is always the beaten track the second road is the road chosen by those adventurous conquerors who are able to contribute something towards human progress by their inventions and innovation so he is asking that uh, what is our choice today whether we wish to go by the beaten track whether we are timid whether we are doubting our own self potent and confidence by the jeers of the doubting crew or whether we are those daring souls who are ready to strike out for a new goal so this stanza he is asking in the conclusion of the poem what do the readers want to achieve he wants one to come out without giving heed to the criticism and so societal pressure so the society which is our own family our friends and the world at large might might tempt us 
they might threaten us or sometimes we might be misled or they they might even shatter down our self confidence by saying that this is not a safe journey when we are going to be adventurous we are sure to face challenges and risk it is through challenges we can prove what is our true metal and true potential he challenges the readers to introspectively assess their willingness to strike out on their own and strive for new goals regardless of success and failure so never bother about what is the end the outcome will will be always based on the actions and the attitude with which you pursue your action so life is rewarding in its own self never bother about the consequence never always be intimidated by the doubts of your friends or your neighbors or the society no your own worth by discovering and exploring a new world you have to set a trend for yourself you have to pave the path for many others to travel be a leader instead of being a follower this is the final note of advice given by edward edgar guest so i hope you all understood the poem so to summarize the poem it's a rallying cry for individuals to embrace their inner adventurers and push the boundaries of what is known aside through eloquent language and in- insightful comparisons edgar albert guest compels the readers to question their complacency and encourages them to embark on uncharted paths fostering potential growth and advancing society as a whole it encourages the readers to question their willingness to follow the well trodden path or to embark on an uncharted territory so be always prepared to take up challenges even gold is tested in fire so you know your worth only under turmoil and difficult ordeal the path may be unsafe but you are sure to secure your own successful future wish you all the best hope you understood the poem thank you for the listening